Welcome back, writers, to another week in the passenger seat. As you can see, um, I'm starting to get a couple of my New Year's resolutions uh, together. One was the new setup, um, which is still being set up. And uh, that, of course, you know, is, is coming together pretty nicely. I still need to do some uh, a little decorating on the wall. Um, as you can see, I have the mic, uh, the, the boomstick right here, or whatever you want to call this, the mic arm. Um... Uh, and I'll be getting the mic soon enough so I can stop using this thing. <laughs> it makes me look ridiculous <laughs> sometimes. Um, I think and, it uh, sounds better than mine, though. Yeah, I mean, the the microphone will definitely sound better. It's a, it's a Yeti microphone. And, um, yeah, I just, I just feel like it's going to sound way better. And things are just going to you know come together slowly speaking of new year's resolutions um there is also another resolution that i've started working on and that is my new youtube channel um where you're gonna see me a little less structured than the passenger seat doing things that i like to do like play magic uh mostly that's what i've been doing right now playing uh, other games that i like i'll also be doing video reviews song reviews when they come out um because I, I love watching reaction channels as well. That's something that I enjoy. Um, and yeah, a, a slew of other things that I really enjoy doing and I don't have to be as constricted, um, you know, and I can sort of be free to do whatever I want without any, uh, without any care because I'm not really expecting anything with that channel. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to that channel below. If you want, you can feel free and check that out. Other than that, let's uh, let's just hop into the topic for today. All right. So today's topic is going to be a show that has been, I guess, sweeping the nation. A lot of people are obsessed with this show and is critically acclaimed. And we're going to be talking about Euphoria. Yes, sir. You don't know my name. <laughs> nah, that's not my favorite song. My mine is um, <laughs> it's from season one. It's. Uh... I'm living for the thrill for new love. <laughs> I like the uh, uh, Mount Everest ain't got, ain't got shit, on, shit me. on me. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, we'll, be, we'll be talking about Euphoria today. It's such a massive hit. Me and Joseph, I've watched it, um, and it's amazing. <laughs> yes. Um, so, a couple of things about the show before we get into like our personal effects with it. Um, it's an American teen drama that uh, pretty much it's created by Sam Levinson for HBO, and uh, it's actually based off of an Israeli uh, series, which basically had sort of the same topics and themes. Um, the Israeli television show has the same name, and it's created by Ron Lashem and uh, Daphne. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm pronouncing that wrong. Daphna. <laughs> Oh. Daphne Levin. <laughs> yeah, because you, you read Daphne and you think Daphne, you know, it's Daphne yeah. Levin. Yeah, I got to. Um, basically, the story follows a group of high school students, um, you know, with their pretty much experiences, whether it be trauma, drugs, uh, family, and, you know, their friends and all that. Oh, you oh, fuck you fuck? And the hardships that they have to go through with all of that. Yeah, no, I mean, definitely touches upon a lot of uh, very, the thing about this show is that, you know, you would think of, uh, you think a lot of other teen drama shows and stuff like that, but this one takes it always a step further than other shows. Like, this is HBO, so if you aren't, I guess, like, in that, in that sense, if you aren't a person that likes to be exposed to a lot of things, then it would probably be too much for you, because that's how strong it is. Yes, uh, it's very, very... Um what's the word i'm looking for very bold um it reminds me a little bit because I'm, I'm a big fan of this show as well it reminds me a little bit of degrassi um mm, and it reminds me of skins really i don't know if you remember that show yeah i do um <laughs> but yeah see and we we both have different experiences with that 
but for me it's it's like one of those shows but it's it's you know much heavier i think because hbo is allowed to be that's that's sort of what yeah. they're built on <clears throat> so um yeah uh let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the cast uh obviously we have um not only the star of the show but also one of the executive producers which is zendaya yeah um, tremendous actor man my gosh she is top of the line quality incredible acting chops uh, with this actress she is just so versatile and she's amazing uh, I, I really think that after watching um not only the first season but especially the second season there were a couple of episodes that i just said you know what uh, zendaya definitely deserves uh an emmy you know what rick why don't you go fuck yourself yeah, no, I, I definitely agree. And uh, Zendaya is playing a character called Rue. And the basis of Rue's character is that she is a drug addict and she's suffering, you know, from fighting, uh, coping with that, coping with drugs and, and keeping her friends and her family. And, and she, you know, it, it, it's that, I wouldn't say classic storyline, but it's that storyline of a, of a person who's just like really fucked up and into drugs and stuff. Yeah, it's a really intense view into drug addiction, and I think it's it's really uh, well written. It's it's you know it's portrayed amazingly by by Zendaya. And uh, if you think like, oh, this is just going to be a show about one single person, well, that's the case because you also have a slew of other characters who, honestly, all of their stories are incredibly interesting, and the way they sort of develop uh, as the series progresses is something that's very interesting to watch yeah definitely um, um moving on from that we'll go to uh uh hunter gonna, hunter schaefer hunter schaefer that i forgot the last mm-hmm. name yes uh she, she is uh, also a tremendous actress and she started as i believe a supermodel and had, uh, she was like a model first before she this is like one of her first acting roles yeah she is she is indeed a model yeah, um, other than other than Hunter Schaefer, uh, we also have um, one of our more prominent. Right, he he he's already been in in a very uh, top of the line acting role, which is uh, Eric Dane. Um, you might know him from Grey's Anatomy. Um, yes, um, <laughs> I was trying to remember the name right now, and I couldn't seem to remember it. But yes, <laughs> yeah, Eric- Grey's Anatomy name, the Grey's Anatomy name. I'm oh, trying to remember it. never mind though. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, um, other than Eric Dane, we also have uh, very interesting. It's a uh, Maud Apatow, which is Judd Apatow's daughter. Um, you know, we all know Judd Apatow because of his uh, of his filmmaking chops. Mm. And um, you know, we have other other actors and actresses as well, including the likes of Angus Cloud, which I believe it's his first acting debut. Um, so we have a lot of theirs actually. Yeah, we've got Barbie Ferreira, Jake, Jacob Elordi, um, Storm Reed. Uh, sh- there's another one. I'm forgetting. What's her name? The the chick who plays Maddie. It's Al- Al- mm. Alexa Demi or something like that. Yeah. I'm, I always get surprised that she's like older than most of the cast. It's so strange. Like, I wouldn't think it, but yeah. She's like, she's like what, 30? She's like 28 compared to everybody else being like 23 or 21. No, bro. I think she's in her 30s. She was born in 1990. Oh, dang. Yeah, like, it surprised me when I find out she was older than Fez, when Fez is betraying someone older than her. Yeah, dude. It's crazy because you think about it, she's she's the age that she is, and she looks incredible. But yeah, so, you know, and, and we have a, a whole other slew of characters and, 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 and actors and actresses. Sorry, I didn't mention all of them, but I think we got mo- the, the most important out there. Um, but yeah, a, a really good cast. And other than Zendaya being an exec- executive producer, we also have a very, uh, you know, another very prominent executive producer. And obviously, I'm talking about Drake. Mm. Um, you know, for me personally, I, I didn't ex- the first time I saw Euphoria, I didn't expect uh, I didn't expect that at all. I, I didn't I didn't know that Drake had any interest in in producing um tv shows so it could be why it reminds you of degrassi so much 
it could be you know what? that's a good theory that's that's a really good theory um oh so yeah the you know, now now getting into our personal opinions about the show um i started watching this show uh i think when i first got into hbo max uh, i think i started maybe with a free trial i don't remember point is i saw euphoria i said okay well this looks this looks pretty cool and then the first episode i was hooked bitch this isn't the 80s you need to catch a dick um right because other than the material that was being given to me it's also the music which is by the way done phenomenally by our main artist on for the for the show primordially which is labyrinth and what a great job uh labyrinth does for setting the mood or setting this you know the theme for this whole show I, I think it's absolutely fantastic the, the, the job that he's done with it. I always feel super bad, too, because he's been around since 2012. <laughs> I'm like, dang. I feel like his popularity has now just risen. Better late than never, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, we speak, you know, speaking of artists and stuff that, that are also featured on the show, um, we have Dominic Fike as Elliot, um, who he, he, you know, he's a, I think you told me he's a SoundCloud artist. He started as a SoundCloud artist. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, I don't want to spoil anything, but it does show and yeah, it's, it's, um fantastic you know that they that they put these people um into this into the limelight right because people like angus cloud from what i read um basically he was angus cloud was working fast food i think and i think one of the executive producers uh ate there and saw him and you know thought hey you're you're perfect for the role and uh yeah picked him up so that's i think that's super cool uh they're using a lot of these people who don't have any prior acting experience and uh they they did a great job I, I i do like that idea i like the idea of grabbing in uh i guess in better terms uh randos because you get to actually experience the character and not necessarily the actor i'm not saying zendaya doesn't do a good job obviously everyone already knows who she is and she does a fantastic job but right. I like I like it when you get to see the character and you don't have to like focus on the actors um, on someone famous I agree. Um, so yeah, personal feelings or notes on the show. Um, I, man, I believe Euphoria is a masterpiece. Uh, I tried to shove it down everybody's throats when it first came out, and uh, that's actually that's actually how I started watching it was because of you. Yeah, um, <laughs> <laughs> I remember I was telling everybody, "Yo, you got to watch Euphoria. Like it's a, it's it's a great show." And um, you know, slowly but surely, the hype has started to catch on, and I'm really happy about that because I. I I really do believe it's it's gonna be HBO's, uh, you know, top top shows. Yeah, no, definitely. Right now, I believe it is HBO Max's top show. Good, uh, garnering uh, millions of views, especially from the first season to the second season. It's a fantastic, phenomenal show. Well written. The directing style is Ooh. is incredible. Like, if you guys watch this show, the directing style is. It gives you this feeling of like, whoa, wait, what is happening in this scene? Why did this scene change this? The lighting, the darkness, the way it goes. Like, it's just like there's so many things about this show that keeps you so intrigued. And it's so, uh, I guess, what would you say, like artistic? You're drunk, okay? And you sound like an idiot. Can you please get out of the pool? Air, one can say it light and sweet good night. Oh, yeah. Like, very, very artistic, yeah. The techniques that they use in the cinematography um, is absolutely, uh, you know, it's it's superb. And it's interesting if, you you know, for, for the writers who haven't watched the show, um, if you go to season one and then you go to season two, you're going to notice a visual chain. One of my favorite things about the, the camera work and the way the director portrays it is when you watch the show and, and all the moments where Rue takes drugs, all of a sudden everything changes. Like you go from like a standard to like, it slows down, the music changes, the 
atmosphere and then like the colors and like whatever's happening to Rue at the moment, it makes you feel like that sort of feels like how it would feel like to be intoxicated in drugs. Like they yeah. do such a good job in like doing that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, stellar show. Uh, it's gotten pretty good reviews on on Rotten Tomatoes, IMBD, and the you know and the like. Um, all I could possibly do, you know, is recommend that show. Uh, you know, until I can't recommend it anymore. And for you writers who haven't watched uh, Euphoria, who maybe don't have HBO Max, who've heard about it and have said, you know, maybe mm, it sounds cool, but I don't know if I want to spend my seven day trial or whatever it is for HBO Max on something like that. Trust me, you're going to want to. Yeah. Um, yeah. Even though the hour episodes, they get you hooked. Oh, yeah. A hundred percent. Trust me, you're, you're going to love it. Um, anything else that you want to add to that, Carlos? Uh, yeah, just uh, go ahead and check out the show, guys. Really incredible. Keep an open mind. It is uh, it very much pushes those boundaries. Again, you know, if if, if you watch Game of Thrones, then you're gonna be able to stomach this show. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> so, but yeah, just go check it out. It's an amazing show. All right. Well, yeah. As always, writers, make sure to like, comment, subscribe on this video, share it with your friends, uh, help this channel out by you know getting the word out. We'd really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, any links and content or links to our social media will be down below. So make sure you check that out. And uh, as always, thank you for joining us in the ride today. And hopefully you'll join us next time here. Go passenger seat. <laughs>